On happy Friday, looking outside this morning, it's been a great start to the day and very wet overnight. We've been seeing periods of rainfall, even some heavier rain and some thunderstorms. This is kind of the view that you're seeing outside. We were just talking about this in the studio what kind of day this is and it's almost the day that you want to maybe make something warm for lunch or dinner, maybe chili or put on the uh, chicken and dumplings and have that because it's just going to be a cool wet day for today. Lower 50s right now. Temperatures are just not going to warm up too much and that wind will be with us all day today from the east northeast. So been seeing the rainfall move up to the north. A tumble getting wet right now. Still some lightning strikes embedded in this. So some claps of thunder up there towards Fort Dodge. Not out of the question as this batch moves toward Algona. Get some steadier rainfall as you're heading out. Definitely going to be a wet commute there on Interstate 35 this morning. Farther south and west, a bit of a break going on. So I expect us to see maybe spotty showers during the afternoon. Before tonight, we start to see steadier rainfall moving in and even potentially some heavy rain. So temperature starting in the 40s up north. You're going to stay near steady there for you in Fort Dodge now going to not warming up too much. Lamona, you're starting off at 53. So as we take a look at your future cast for today, again, getting in the midday time frame, spotty showers will be around. We'll see some dry time, maybe an isolated thunderstorm. So a good idea to just have the rain gear handy for you. By the time you head home from work about five o'clock, we should be in a dry mode before this next batch starts to arrive shortly after about six or seven o'clock. This is where we could see some heavier rainfall in the evening hours. Now this model in particular has the heavier rain northwest toward the Missouri River and up toward the Dakotas. Another model has it farther southeast. I'm kind of trusting that model a little bit more, so I think this is going to be more of a rain event for us overnight tonight into tomorrow morning for central southern Iowa, even southeastern Iowa with a chance for thunderstorms. So looking into tomorrow evening, we will start to see things taper off and that's going to leave us mainly dry for your Sunday, but I think we're going to see more clouds than sunshine. So as we take a look at rain tracker again, this is just indicating potentially how much we could see in the next 24 hours. However, I'm taking you through 11 o'clock on Saturday. I think the heavier amounts are going to be a little bit farther south and east than what you're seeing on this map here. But again, this is kind of giving you the general idea that we could see another one to two inches of rain before this is all said and done. So there's your dry time on Sunday before rain returns once again on Monday and Tuesday.